So boys and girls, we have finished our sunflower pots. They have been fired. They're no longer greenware or soft clay. They are bisqueware because they are bright white and they are no longer soft. They're nice and hard. And we are going to be painting them today with a special paint called glaze. Now every glaze that you choose, whatever color you choose, you're just gonna have a brush and the glaze because we're not gonna be adding any water um, to the glaze. Pick your color. I've chosen yellow just because I wanted mine to be um, yellow, just like our realistic sunflowers that we were drawing and or creating our collages from. Um, we talked a lot about making them look like real life, so I'm gonna stick with that idea. But you can choose any color that you would like to for your, oh, looks like I moved out of the way there. You can choose any color that you would like to. I do want you to notice as I'm painting it, I'm actually um, kind of making sure that I get into all the cracks and crevices. I'm getting underneath it. And I'm just making sure that I paint it everywhere that I want that yellow to be, okay? Now, once you paint all the way around, you're actually gonna start back and paint a second coat. So I would go back over the first coat, make sure I get all those areas again. You don't want any of the white showing. And when this goes into the oven, it will change from this kind of chalky looking paint to a really nice shiny glaze. So today, what I want you to focus on is getting those, getting at least um, those two coats of that one color. Now you can uh, switch up your colors if you'd like to. You're gonna notice that I have a couple different colors here. I do have an orange. And if you'd like to, you can open that. Of course, I would use a different brush with that. But I can go ahead and add a little bit of uh, orange here if I want to. The glazes will kind of mix as, they, um, as they're fired. Uh, this is, it's kind of weird. It's not like a normal paint where you'd paint over something and you wouldn't see the color underneath. These are gonna kind of mix in the oven. So you're gonna notice I'm adding some um, little orange, like an orange ring around the edge. Um, that will kind of mix. It'll be more of a yellowish orange when it comes out of the oven. But I'm just adding a little bit around there. I want the tips to remain yellow and I want the inside um, to remain, uh, to be kind of like an orangey yellow. Now I'm not gonna paint the center today. I'm not gonna worry about that. We'll add, we'll do that later on. I want you to focus on the petals to get today, getting the front of the petals and the back of the petals two times, two coats, um, and making sure those get finished. And we'll talk about the outside here and we'll talk about the inside the next time we come. 